All right, so long story short, I was on tour in Europe and it was awesome. But then in an instant, the entire tour was canceled and a few hours later, I had to get on a plane to get back home. So now like many of us, I am quarantined in this house for the next two weeks. So I thought it would be the perfect time to focus on getting better at one thing on the drum set so I can document my progression from day one to day 14. So here we are, today is day one and it is time to actually figure out what pattern we want to learn. So I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring behind the practice pad and then we'll figure out what we're gonna be focusing on for the next two weeks. So after a while of just messing around on the practice pad, I have something that I do want to focus on, and that is this pattern. It is a right-handed paradiddle, left-handed paradiddle, right-left, right-left-left, two times. So to be a little more specific with it, those first two paradiddles, I'm going to be accenting those first two singles, and then I'm going to accent every right from there, and then all the lefts from there are going to be ghost notes. Now the reason I chose this pattern is because I can't play it as fluidly or as fast as I want to. I thought it would be an easier pattern for me, but I'm struggling with it. And there's just a lot going on with that left hand. So I feel like this is an opportunity for me to strengthen my weak hand, get stronger with it, and play it a lot faster. So here's how I'm gonna structure this. I'm gonna start off strictly working on this pattern on the practice pad for 20 minutes a day before moving it to the kit. I'm gonna start off at 60 BPMs and then move the tempo up by 10 every five minutes. Starting off at this slow tempo will really allow me to focus on not only internalizing the pattern, but to focus on my technique and dynamics as well. So we're getting to that place here where I can't go the full five minutes without stopping. My left forearm is starting to burn at these tempos. So I'm basically going for as long as I possibly can, getting the burn so I can develop the muscle while still trying to maintain some technique, but then taking like a 10 second rest and then jumping right back into it, which is a lot different than when I was practicing this at slow tempo. So time to keep burning it out. So I'm keeping track of it all in my practice journal so that tomorrow I can come and start off at the tempo that I ended at today and see where we can take it from there. I feel like I'm really starting to internalize the pattern now, so let's see what happens once we start approaching those faster tempos. So something I really enjoyed about playing this pattern on the pad 
is that I felt like I was able to focus on all my weaknesses rather than just speed. By repeating the same pattern over and over again, I was able to analyze how's my technique, how is the fluidity of my left hand, and be able to really focus on the whole pattern as a whole. Generally, I am in such a rush to learn the pattern and play it as fast as I can, but it feels really good to take a step back and say, hey, there's no rush. I'm just going to take this at my own pace to really make sure that I'm learning it in a well-rounded way. Something else I notice is around the three and a half minute mark, my brain enters like a meditative state, which has been amazing. Something I wasn't anticipating was how heavy this situation would get from day to day, from jobs being lost and just new updates every day, things just get really heavy. So there's something that's been really comforting about coming to the same space, playing the same thing and hearing the same sounds every single day and just letting my mind rest for a little bit. So I'm about halfway through this challenge and I just found out that Brandon Scott is doing a very similar challenge over on his channel. So I would recommend you click the link in the description to check out his channel because he does some awesome content as well. All right, guys, I'm about to make the jump. Uh-oh, just mentioned sure no I was freaking out. Oh, God, I'm going to make the jump to 200. Let's see how it goes. Guys, this right out here, that, the outside, the sunlight, all the difference. I'm at somewhere like close to three weeks tomorrow of quarantine. I started this whole thing a week in. So uh, in Michigan, we don't get much of, we don't get much of this sunlight out here. And uh, honestly, I'm a little scared to, oh my God. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. All right, so here we are, it is the last day. So I figured I should put together my favorite application of this pattern behind the kit in the few different ways that I was working on it. So let's check it out. So in the end, I really enjoyed this process. I really liked working on the same thing over and over again on the practice pad. Like I said, I felt like I was able to really focus on the pattern as a whole and reach like this meditative state. As I started to apply it behind the kit, I started to get a little bit bored with the pattern. Um, at least in the 16th notes, I felt like it just got a little repetitive. But when I switched it up to 16th note triplets, I started to find a new love for the pattern again and explore with it there. So I constantly switched up the pattern and changed up the application 
to keep me creative and to keep me engaged the whole time. But guys, I know we are all stuck in our houses and these are unprecedented times, but if you want, you can check out my free course called the Hand Speed Mini Challenge. It is a five day challenge for you to improve your hand speed. And if you want, you can repeat it over and over until this whole quarantine thing is done. So you can click right here to check it out. But I really appreciate you and I am going to continue to release videos so we can have a little bit more fun during this quarantine. Stay safe, everyone, and stay true. You're awesome. See ya.